Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another early, fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys and Target. And today, I got a whole host of new action figures to check out and show off for the upcoming Holothon 2022, which starts March 18th. Some have already started hitting stores early, right? But a lot of new figures, various brands, very exciting. The Wolfman, Lon Chaney Ultimate Wolfman, black and white edition. You can grab him along with... Already, the 40th anniversary of the Evil Dead, Ultimate Ash. Demona glides in for the new Gargoyles action figure line. And, of course, a new four-pack of Turtles, in case you missed the old ones. Nice pickup right there. But this guy, this is the one. This is this is cool. We'll talk more about him in just a few. But if you are interested, Holothon starts March 18th. And for those in the U.S. of A., you can head over to Targets and to Target.com. That way, you can grab everything either online or in the store. And for international peoples... Starting March 18th, you can head over to holothon.com and grab everything you need as well. So, this is going to be a blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at a ton of new action figures from NECA Toys in conjunction with Holothon 2022. So, let's get started. Now, moving from one Saturday morning cartoon to the next, we have the new four-pack of the NECA Toys' cartoon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures, which is good for a lot of people that are, one, getting into the line, or two, may have missed some specific turtles of the past. This is now the fourth iteration released. We'll say to retail, they did have the SDCC packs, but really nice sets overall if you did miss the Previous Turtle Bros, let's say that. And if you look closely, you get some upcoming uh, teases to some upcoming TMNT figures. A lot of them on the horizon. And these do feature the swap-out expressions. It's actually pretty cool. I'm glad that they chose to go this round with these. And then here's everyone involved with the creation of these particular turtles. And here's the barcode as well if you want to go ahead and scan them in the store. And yeah, this is going to be great. Like I said, this is now my fourth round of the Turtle Bros. We'll get them all open, see what accessories they have, and see if it's worth your time and money. And lo and behold, here's everything out of the packaging. Amazing how editing works these days. It will take you quite some time to get everything out. And make sure you get everything out. I mean, really scour the box because uh, a lot of the times maybe you get stuck to the tape or something like that. But you do get some cool accessories like some turtle communicators right there. Nice paint overall. Really nicely rendered. Two in the box so you can have two open or two closed. So you get a total of four basically. But uh, yeah, they're very cool and they look like they walk straight out of the show. You have a mutagen canister as well. This one could have been done just a little bit better. It's a little bit muddled here and there with the paint. Not the best. You have Michelangelo's, or you could just say the grapple for any of the turtles. Nice string on it. Love when they do string accessories, right, with rope. This will open up at the top, and then you can fling it around and pull yourself up on the Channel 6 building, whatever you want to do. Then you have uh, Michelangelo's attachment accessory. So if you spin it while it's on his nunchucks, it looks like it's spinning around. Very nice effect, works well. And you do get a bevy of extra hands. The only downside to this is that you get a ton of extra hands, but you got to split it between the four characters. But each character just needs two hands, right? You get two pizza boxes. Each one's got a missing slice of pizza. This one says Vinny's. The other one says Ninja Pizza. I do wish the boxes could close. I wish they could change that up a little bit. And you get one pizza slice, and uh, it's got the hole in it for you can put it around Raph's style. I'll show you that in just a few. Now, with the heads, right? So each turtle basically comes with two head portraits with their corresponding bandana. However, you can pop out the eyes from the lower part of the mouth. It's actually pretty simple. You can see inside there. Each one does have an articulated bandana, which the paint is okay. I mean, it's kind of chips a little bit inside the actual joint, but it works for the most part. Then you just push up and they basically just swap out easy peasy. So you don't like that expression. You could take Donatello's here and take Donatello's eyes or what out and you swap it with Mikey's and swap it with Donnie's. Now Donnie's got that face portrait and I mean, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. You get the idea. You can do it with Leo. You can do it with Raph. You can do anything you want. Multiple expressions achieved. Because with Donatello, in some cases, you need that determined face on him. He's doing machines. So, yeah, you know, he, he knows what he's doing, right? He does have weapon storage. I'll give it to him all day. That's very cool. And he does have his bow staff. And it looks and displays really nicely. The joints are pretty fluid, 
minus the elbows, all the elbows. Also, for keeping it more of like that matte look, he does have a few blemishes here and there. It's almost like paint stains on the face, mostly on the face for all these guys, just an FYI. And you simply just undo the bow and you can slip it right in the back for easy bow weapon storage. So it's a really nice looking Donatello, nice green to him. And he, again, you can swap out the heads, put on the more scaredy cat Donatello, which, you know, for the old cartoon show, that definitely works. Maybe uh, uh, Shredder's taking over the Channel 6 build. He always tries to do that. Who knows? Raphael, he's the uh, rude one. Remember, he's got kind of the same kind of stainage in some instances here and there. He comes with both of his size. Now, I'll tell you honestly, when they do the re-releases of these figures, even though it's not 100% cartoon accurate, I would like some weapon storage for not only Raph, but also Michelangelo. You can tuck them into the sides, but, you know, the old Playmates, you know, it just would be nice to have some updated storage here and there. Again, the joints all work, except for the elbows, just kind of go easy on the elbows. That's the only joint on these guys, for whatever reason. All four Turtle Bros that get a little bit stuck on you. But yeah, considerable more movement and everything else. For these turtle bros as opposed to previous releases and like i said you can take the pizza slice and you put it down over his side and it's pretty cool right that way he can throw it at you because he's rude just like in the opening credits scene right leonardo he comes with his two katanas and of course you can swap out his head portrait for any of the other expressions and just to point out all the turtles do have a bit of a waist swivel you can do that the katanas that's another thing with the weapon storage. Donatello's works well, but these are still kind of a pain to get in there. I really wish it was a little bit more fluid. They're just, it's a very tight, tight grip for uh, sheathing these swords. So I do wish eh, they just slid in just a little bit easier. Just going to tell you that. Michelangelo, he's a party dude. Hey, he's such a happy guy, right? He's got his awesome nunchucks, real chains. They work well. They look great. They all have that really nice green to him. He doesn't really have any the stains on his head portraits. Weapon storage. Now, you can put them in there, and that works for the most part. But again, like I said, eh, you know. Take some liberties if you really wanted to. And then for his nunchuck effects, simply just pop this off and go ahead and plug the spinny whirly parts right there. And now you've got a uh, really cool effect, right? He's spinning around. He's a fellow chucker, right? So it does look good. The effect is achieved. He looks like he's having a great time. Give him a slice of pizza, whatnot. Yeah, it's a nice turtle set overall, especially, again, if you've missed them in the past. And to compare to all the other retail releases, this is now my fourth set of Ninja Turtles, as you can tell. Now, you have the more early episodes of the TMNT, you have the new style guide ones, you have the disguise, and then you have the older style guide ones. And really, if you look at newer to older, it's a matter of just having those head portraits that swap out. Yeah, some of the joints on the earlier one are a little bit more stuck. These ones, I can tell you, are a lot more fluid to use, but mostly for the paint, the green, and everything else, they're pretty much the same. As opposed to, let's say, the first round of the Turtles, the more early episodes. The earlier ones have the cell shadedness, whereas these new ones don't have that going on. There's still that cartoony green, but they don't have that paint differentiation. And of course, as you can see, the disguised turtles, I kept the clothes on. That's how I display these anyways. They keep the weird, creepy human pig face masks on, so it works in that sense. And all these turtles, rest assured, will go with any of the other releases of turtles, mutants, bad guys, whatnot. So again, to reiterate, if you've missed out, if you've seen, you know, to be honest, the prices on some of these aftermarket turtles, which I do not recommend paying ever, this isn't a bad price for the set. Yes, you are getting less accessories. That's one thing I will say. I wish they had a little bit more accessories going on because that's what NECA does so well. But in either case, that's a nice set of the four turtles. And when you compare him to all the other NECA releases for the Holothon, that's just a lot of fun. So throw a Ninja Turtle into the mix and you got all your bases covered. So if you're in the need for some turtles, these will definitely scratch that turtle itch. To wrap it up for my look at all the Holothon offerings thus far, a lot of great toys, a lot of great brands, a lot of cool things are happening. Don't forget, Holothon officially starts March 18th. So depending on when you see this video, there might be stuff out now, right? Maybe check the stores, just FYI. Or 
uh, they will be hitting your local Target stores soon. Now, remember, if you're in the United States, you can hit up Target or you can go on the Target app. And for all the international peoples, you head over to holothon.com and you can grab all the different toys like each and every one of these that we went over today. And I want to say thank you to the people over at NECA Toys and of course Target for sending these over for the purposes of giving you guys this early fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly remember, bring on the turtles, baby, and then the gargoyles. And, and just keep those coming. That's cool with me. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.